Wait, do I want to go up? Do you think I can fit through this? Ah, oh, shit, I don't know if I can fit through that. Uh, no, I probably can't. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how tall this truck is, but I feel like it might be taller than 6'6". <laughs> so I will go under here. Oh, that's okay. Oh, there we got parking. Oh, wait, actually, I should go... Ah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm all late and I'm stopping to watch the birds. <laughs> Uh, okay, so today I am making a video for the art gallery and I was meant to be here at 11, but it is 11.16, so I am late, but uh, not to worry, <laughs> I'm here now. Uh, the, the reason why I'm making a video for them is because they've moved location away from the escalator, which is why I wanted to uh, park upstairs here, but that's okay. This is the new location. Is anyone in there? They got some art in there. That's not gonna stay foggy like that. That's just the thing that the mall does. Oh, look at this. It's locked. That means, that means I'm not late. They're late. <laughs> That's okay then. I can handle that. So they're moving temporarily, or they're moving to a temporary location from their old temporary location, which is just down the hall here, next to the escalator. <laughs> There's the gallery, there's the escalator, and then there's the new store. I don't actually mind walking. Normally I walk from all the way from the other side of the mall there, so same amount of walking. But if I could park up, I would park up. I'm just too tall in that truck. Okay, let's see what they have to say. I hope they weren't waiting for me this whole time. Oh, they took down the sign already. Still got a lot of art in here. Hey. hey how are you? Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, Everyone else's? Else yeah. I texted uh, Sean. I was like, don't start without me. He's not late. But of course he's not. Where is he? Oh, okay. I'm just going to put this uh, back. Here, this is that one for the person in Sweden. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look what I did from running. It almost raveled out of the <laughs> out of the case here. Um, okay, I'm gonna put it back here so it stays safe. Thank you to whoever lives in Sweden and wants this uh, this. Kobe doing work. Two for on my shirt, he the greatest on the court, and I'm the greatest on the verse. Yeah, going for the last ring like it was the first. Uh, gotta get the gleam, do it for Kareem. Two for so nice, my flow so mean. Catch me at the game, sitting next to Goldstein. Kobe Bryant Nikes, purple gold strings. Kobe in the game, dunking on the whole team. Yeah, Black Mamba, attack conquer, the basketball beast, the rap. Crossover good, the turnaround jumper, or just drive the lane and dunk on dunkers. You know where it's going, it's going down, yo. This is the lake show, but don't drown though. I call him King Bryant, I let the crown show. Oh, definitely, I'm just lost for words. I mean, he's amazing. Watch me get him like Kobe, sick with it, no COVID. Black clouds break open, rain down black roses. I smell the rose now. So, as you guys may know, this is my home gallery, Sterling Gallery, I used to say up there. Uh, it's actually the only gallery that I'm in presently. Uh, 
and I wouldn't even be here if uh, Sharon didn't want me to be in the scallop. She asked me uh, when she opened up, and I was like, hell yeah. And so I've been here a while, and uh, I make videos for them over on their YouTube channel, and today I'm going to be making a video of them hanging the wall over in the new temporary location. Uh, and I thought I'd give you a behind the scenes sort of idea of what goes on into moving a gallery, because I don't actually even know, and I thought it, it might be interesting. Okay, I got the time lapse set up. I'm gonna have to get a charger. <laughs> a really long charger. What's up? Okay, yeah, sure. I just have to babysit this space here for a quick second. Everything they bring, they can just put right there. There? Okay. Here, there, right? Okay, that's where you're starting. Okay, sounds good. While he's out and no one else is in here, let me give you a very uh, comprehensive tour. This is a very huge space. <laughs> no, it's not really. This is gonna be a very quick tour. But when you come visit the gallery, we are right beside Winners, George Richards, across from Homestead Creations, and the rec room. The rec room will be the most easiest way to remember where we're at. This is where Zellers used to be. Anyway, there will of course be a sign, this won't be here, it'll be glass. But you come in, my art will be on this whole wall, and, <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, you'll walk in, you'll come into the big area here. I'm gonna try to convince them to put a wall here in front of the glass so they can hang art facing out and in rather than how they do it on easels in the current uh, temporary location. Same with right here, but we'll see if, if they go for that. So there will of course be art on all the walls, just how they do it. Maybe not here, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see at the end of the day, depending on how far we get. Um, and you'll be able to walk in between the rows of, of easels or whatever else they put in the middle. I believe this is where they're going to have the, the framing samples. It's gonna be Velcroed to this wall here. Uh, you're going to be able to go through the counter area. You might be able to tell this used to be a pharmacy and uh, for whatever reason, the mall is keeping this in here. Since it's a temporary location, there's, there's some rules. I might have that kind of wrong, but anyway, this is staying here. I'm not sure what their plan is, but anyway, you'll be able to walk back here. There will be art hanging on the walls here. I'm not sure if they're going to keep these doors on but there's going to be art in here there there is no light in here it looks like so we'll have to do that uh and then let's close this door the bathroom and storage room is in here and then you'll also be able to come back here they might have this similar to how they had the old back room and that is the whole tour. I wonder if they'll put stuff up there. I'm not sure though. Uh, Sean said that he wants to have it there. Yeah, because he's going to start hanging right where he has this piece. I can give you a hand if you want. You're fine? Oh, here he is. Here he is. It's smaller than the other one, but it's just temporary for a few months. Uh, until they get their hopefully permanent store. It's a mall thing. <laughs>
How empty it is. Uh, it's pretty full here, but look at this wall. And the floor. That's pretty good for lunchtime. This piece, by the way, is worth $44,000. 44 grand. They're still working here, but Sean and I are going to hit up the Golden Arches for something to eat. Do you know everyone in the mall? Just waving at everyone all the time. Oh shit. I was not expecting to go down this way. Dude, this smells like a banquet hall in here. This is bringing back memories. I did, did child labor when I was a kid at a banquet hall. And this telling, is what it smells like. I was telling Sharon, all she had to do is talk to them all. Rent out this fucking back hall. <laughs> Dude, that would be No, seriously. I mean, there's a lot of wall space, but, uh, and then this way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's... And then at the very end, I would stand there with the debit machine and the invoice book. <laughs> people pick the numbers off the wall the ones they want. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it's all painted one color, so... 
you know, you're already halfway there. And you got cool, out there. cool, uh, you know, architectural details uh, built into. You got this you got freight right elevator. Here. The table set up when the show starts, Potter, we lower it to the people. You put the $44,000 piece that he has in the gallery right here, just so everybody knows what's up. Set up the food right here. <laughs> yeah, through the door. Let's big pieces. You'd need a lot of more security, I feel. Look, another store. All oh, this wall space. <laughs> you can just rent this out. This is good. This is about the size of what you guys have right now. It's a lot smaller, but it's actually coming along quite, quite good. Well, I'm glad you know where you're going. This is like. <laughs> okay. That really reeks in there. This is like a tour of the uh, of the uh, West Edmonton Mall underground. Look at this. Okay, turn that off. We're going into the top secret areas. Top secret areas. Yeah. Okay. Definitely couldn't show that on camera, but no matter. We went to McDonald's. Thank you, Sean, for lunch. Happy meal, nuggets. Uh, <laughs> and right beside the McDonald's, there was a phone charger place, so I can plug in. There we go. This is not going to be quite long enough without an extension cord, but I can plug in the time lapse uh, phone, which I have moved because we got a lot of uh, stuff in the way now. So I've moved it over to here and I'm hoping that there is a plug here somewhere but there probably is not. No there isn't. Dang it. Um how much battery is in there? It looks like we're still recording good. Okay. I'll have to get a extension cord but for now I'll just leave that there. If it turns off, it's not a big deal. I can I can move it once again and it'll have a couple angles of the different things that are being done here. It's showing the whole process for uh, the gallery's video. So I do want it to capture everything, but it's okay if it changes and misses a couple, two, three things if, uh, if it does die. Anyway. Oh, you got me a cheeseburger. Oh, and nuggets. That's what I told you. It's like a double Happy Meal? I just get the cheeseburger extra. Oh, what a nice guy you are. I was wondering what the heck you were saying. Yeah, you, you need it. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying, because the fries are real small and everything. And what's the toy? What is this? A straw? No, that's the uh, yogurt. Oh, this is yogurt. That's the toy. These would be good for your cat, or I already have these for my cat. Man, Happy Meals have changed a bit since I got them when I was a kid. The, the, the toys are sometimes cool and sometimes not cool. I guess they're all the same now, or these just happen to be the same. What even are these? Squishmallows? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, he's coming back with the last empty trolley. Now that we're done, way, no, not that one. Way over, way over there. Let's see what we're looking like in there. That's it, it's empty. No more art, no more easels, no more anything. The only thing that remains is the wall that I built. Remember that? And right behind here, somewhere, are our signatures and a, and a little Garfield as well. Uh, and that will be demolished probably by the time I come back to finish 
the uh, art gallery's video. Well, everything is out of here as well. Probably in there is the drawing somewhere. I don't know what this is for. This used to be a jewelry store and for whatever reason they weren't allowed to change things. So all they could do is take off the old brick stone. It's like cultured stone or something. Uh, they took that off and then we slapped up drywall on the other side. And I don't remember what that got was for. I don't even remember uh, seeing that. Oh shoot! Yeah, I would have forgotten that. It was the exact same stone as this. All over the wall. I can't remember what was here. That was like a wood facade with like cabinets and stuff. And for a while they had to operate with that stuff on the wall. But once they were allowed to take it off, we put the drywall up on here, taped it and painted it all in one night. That was quite the undertaking, but definitely worth it because nailing into the cultured stone, as you can imagine, is <laughs> there's like no gaps anywhere. So that's difficult to do. Had to use uh, <laughs> some creativity to hang things. And as you can see by all the holes in the drywall, they sell and move a lot. Uh, rearrange things as things sell so much better to have the drywall in there but anyway that's it do you need help with anything else Sharon no, thank you very much You've been a lot of help. Thank you. perfect all right have a good night and you're welcome oh do you want me to close you got it <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just have to pick up my keys from the other gallery or the other location and uh, I think I think that's that's it <laughs> But anyway, oh yeah, and the mustache came by as well to uh, dick around in the uh, in the ceiling which I have to show you this guys I took some of it out. yeah but you didn't take out the uh, <clears throat> not the, power bar. the power bar that's that's like what the heck is this guys they just wired that into a box power bar is already like uh, what do they say if uh, fire for Christmas because um, well you you exactly legal and up to code you know <laughs> right I think that's hilarious that whoever did that did that but I mean it is in West Edmonton Mall and most of the malls are like that yeah and a lot of homes are like this too yeah the DIYers oh yeah I did want to get a uh, time lapse of hanging the rest of this. Unfortunately, not going to get to that. So it's not going to be in the gallery video, but, or, or back here. Um, but that's okay. I will be able to make their video work with some, some tweaking and some of this and some of that. It'll be good. It'll be good. Anyway, my keys are somewhere here. <laughs>
That is loud and annoying, though. So there is that. Anyway, um, I am back at the mall for uh, to see what what they've done at the gallery. A couple of service dogs chilling there. Um, it's been uh, a few days, so I'm curious to see how they've set up everything. Here's another one. Probably day two. Service dog in training. They still have the wall, the barricade around the front. But, ooh, that looks pretty good. They got the glass clear now. That's looking good. Yeah, that actually looks really good. I like that. Looking like a, a gallery now. Sean pointed out that Jubilation's Dinner Theater is also here, which is uh, very busy all the time. So good traffic coming through these doors. Uh, and then you see through the glass, see all the different art on the wall. Dang, I can still hear that Brinks truck. I mean, it's right underneath that bridge there. It's looking good. All right, let's go in and see what's up. I can still hear it here. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Are you guys open? Not yet. I'm right in the front. Kobe, we got a fingerprint of Jordan. This looks good. Yeah, not bad for uh, like a small spot like this. That looks good there. It's a little crooked, but looks good. Do you hear that noise downstairs? Yeah. That's a Brinks truck alarm. Really? Yeah, and they're not doing anything, so. Hey, for my help, uh, Sharon said I could pick a piece of art and I took this off the wall. Uh, this is actually one of Sean's pieces and, uh, and I've, I, this is so tempting to touch. You shouldn't touch, but I, I just, I was like, ooh, this is cool. And he was just like, oh, ah, oh, oh, don't, oh, oh. He's like, oh, you're squeezing it. But anyway. Um, this is uh, the piece that I took off the wall. Here, Sean doesn't have no Instagram or anything, so you can't see his other work. So you gotta come down to the gallery here where there's, there's a few pieces. Whoa, almost dropped it. Uh, I'm just gonna get this one reframed. They both think that this frame is ugly. I actually don't mind this frame at all. I'm not sure why they framed it in this if they thought it was ugly, but this frame looks a little better, so I'm gonna get something that kind of looks like this, I think. Maybe. I gotta go to the frame shop now anyway. Oh, bring this as soon as possible. It's still here. Hey, I'm gonna go to the frame shop, so I'll just bring this. No, why are you taking it to the frame shop? That's going in the tube, remember? Oh, you're mailing it. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're not mailing it. He's picking it up, taking it to California. Oh, he's picking it up from here. Sorry, my bad. Sorry. Wait, I thought it was going to Sweden. No, that's California, remember? Sweden's the uh, Freddie Mercury. Oh, the Freddie Mercury's going to Sweden. Okay, my bad. My bad, my bad. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. We talked about it at the same time, so I... My bad. California and Sweden. They're kind of the same. <laughs> anyway, thanks for, well, I guess you didn't technically give this to me, but you did paint it. So thank you. Thank you for, this is my first, this is my first Sean Bradshaw original. Well, you only have originals, but this is my first one. Hey Sharon, wait, let's quickly test this camera. She's gotta go. Okay, okay, just go. Okay, she doesn't gotta go. Well, whatever she's gotta do, guys, 
I came on the wrong freaking day. They're not, oh, the mustache is here. Yeah, I definitely came on the wrong day. Uh, they're not open yet, um, which means that it's not complete in here. So I gotta come back another day so that I can grab the last uh, clips. Where is Sharon going? She said she's not leaving, but she's clearly leaving. She's going to the frame shop. Oh, she's going to the frame shop. Oh, then I don't need to go there. I should, I should give her what I have. Yeah, I should. Okay. Wait! Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> I almost smoked them. Sharon, you're going to the frame shop? Yeah. I have some prints and stuff for the uh, London Dairy. Can I give those to you? I'm just, oh shit. I'm parked downstairs though. Is there a stairwell here? Do you know? Here, let me get this for you. The stairwell. There's no stairs outside, so I had to come back in to use these stairs. Looks like the Brinks truck is gone. I don't hear it, and oh, it's there still. <laughs> they figured it out. I wonder what it takes to set it off. Like, do you have to like try to open it? I'm not gonna try to do that because they're probably in it now. They are in it now. <laughs> uh, just the most annoying alarm ever. Actually, it probably deterred whoever set it off. They probably ran, but who knows what happens. Honestly, the day that I came here to, to start the video and, and to help out, a girl got her phone stolen and literally everybody just watched. Except for me and one other guy in a car. Everyone else just watched. It was so frustrating. Was that you? Yeah. Did you get it back? Yeah, I have it. Oh, okay, good. Did you get it back? Yeah, it's right here. This is the police. Do you want to give them a description? Um, it was just. A... It was so frustrating. Okay. Now to bypass the Brinks truck. To go up here. If I could just jump. Let's see here. Ready? Did I scare you? <laughs> so I told her that I was like, hey, in my video, it's gonna look like I jumped from the bottom up to the top. She's like, okay. <laughs> and then I, I told her, okay, I just have to. Actually, you said, too bad you can't stand on there. And I'm like, that's what I'm gonna do. And then you were like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> but anyway, um, but you when did are you? It anyway. yeah, I did, yeah. When are you guys open then? Tomorrow at noon. Tomorrow at noon. Okay, so I'm gonna come back tomorrow, and then I'll do the last finishing clips of uh, of the of your video. Well, I did not, in fact, come back tomorrow at noon it's been i actually don't know how many days it's been but longer than tomorrow <laughs> i just didn't have time but no matter the results should be the same this is what i jumped off of by the way this right here that's why she was nervous because i mean it could have been a fall that would uh potentially cause uh, very serious harm, but uh, nothing happened. The Brinks truck isn't down there this time either. Uh, but did you notice I was able to uh, park up? It's because I took Ashley's car. It's not quite as tall. I just wanted to see what the experience was like. Uh, and it was good. We made it. Here we are at Sterling Gallery and Framing at their new temporary location. And there's Sean yawning. It looks actually really good like this. Very sharp. I like that a lot. Ooh, I really like the Q 
Kincaid's on the side like that. That looks really good. With the porters in the middle there. And of course, me right up front. That's awesome. I don't know if they did that because that's what they thought would look good there or because they thought I would like that, but I do like it. Oh, you're changing it, putting it to the back? It looks good, hey? In here. Or what do you think? You don't like it? Just worked all hard for nothing? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, you know, it looks good in here, man. It is small, but it's you did the oh Yeah, you did back here, too. I Think you did the best that you could with a space like this with the amount of art that, that you have piece up there above the bathroom door Yeah That's a strange that's a strange place to put a uh, piece of art, but I mean, why not? If you have it and you have a space for it, you may as well put it up. Nice do-little piece. And I think they're gonna put this door here that's been drawn on. You're not? Too much, uh, yeah. Well, it's gonna be here then? We're just gonna leave it there, yeah. Yeah? It's drawn on by a few artists here. We got Goddard was the first one to draw on it, uh, I believe, and that would have been this. And then I think Napoleonia was next, and then Gabe Leonard, and then Goddard again, and then also Stickman. And they also have a couple Edmonton Elks signatures, I guess. I don't. I'm not into football, CFL, or otherwise, so I don't know who those people are. The last football player I know is is Gizmo. So, oh, I met that guy. yeah, the first time I ever saw him was here in this mall at the food court. Really? Yeah. And I also did also used to work with Anson. I forget his last name. His mom owned the pizza shop that I worked at and he would sometimes uh, help her out there, which uh, I'm not sure if he needed to do that. I mean, CFL is definitely not the NFL in terms of the payday, but. Uh... Okay, why the heck am I talking about football? This has nothing to do with football. It has to do with Sterling Gallery moving from this location to the new location. And you can see here, they put up a map where uh, uh, this is not a very good map. This actually really sucks. This location isn't even on the map. This whole hallway should be here above the map. So there should be like an X here. But it does tell you to go here to uh, their new location because this old location is it's gone. It's all completely boarded up and all demolished in there. Our drawings and signatures are completely gone. I wonder what this is going to be because judging by the amount of demo in there, there's walls missing. So whatever's taking over this space is probably going to be quite big because look how far this goes. This is probably going to have a coming soon graphic put on it at some point. Or maybe not because it's so big. I don't know. It's going to be a big space. Any guesses? Put them in the comments what you think is going to take over this and the neighboring store as well. At least the one neighboring store, maybe even two. I'm going to guess that it's going to be one of those like those calendar pop-ups that's what's going to take over this big space they always seem to get unnecessarily large stores <laughs> anyway i should get back to the other location because as you can see places are starting to close and he's staying open late for me
Yeah. That's what like, they do with us. Yeah? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> they wait until you're like right there and then they're like, hello? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I made it just in time because it's Sunday today. They close early on Sundays. But I think besides maybe deciding what kind of music or narration or whatever uh, I need to put over the video, if anything, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with what I got. If I need anything else, I'll have to come again. Thank you for, uh, for staying for me. All right, yeah, see ya. So uh, that's it for the Sterling Gallery and framing behind the scenes of them moving. That doesn't really roll off the tongue, but you get it. Thank you for watching this behind the scenes video. If you would like to see the actual video that I made for Sterling, I have a link in the description to their channel. Uh, and that video should be coming out in tandem with this one. All right, to be continued. So that's... Ha, ha, ha.